Hello everyone. We're back. So um we finished the journal front and back yesterday. And I'm going to use a hinged um, system to put my papers in. This is the first time I'm using one. But um, I wanted to give that a go. And um, the one thing that I was a little bit disappointed in, and I haven't quite figured out yet, but I'm going to work on it in the future. I had several little sheets planned to go in. And, you know, as separate sheets um, with this system. I'm not quite sure how you would do that because of the way that you use your, um, your hinge. But I came up with another solution for all of that because I have photos I'm going to insert, um, postcards, envelopes, different things that um, were too short that I could figure out would work with this system. So what I've determined, um, at first I had, like I have all kinds of washi tapes out. I... Um, have some um, medical tape that I distressed a little bit. I had masking tape. Um, I aged some um, cellophane tape. Um, I had all kinds of things out and I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep the hinge simple as far as um, what I'm using for it. I'm sorry. I have something that fell off my chair that's all twisted under my wheel. Here we go. Sorry for that. <laughs> Sorry for the distraction. Um, but what I was saying, um, I had several different things out that I thought I would try, all of which you can use in this system, um, including paper, um, fabrics, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to use tea stained muslin tabs, and also um, some book binding tape. I'm going to use that for my front and back, um, just because I want to. <laughs> no other explanation, just because I want to. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start. Now there's several videos out there. I actually saw um, a video by Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventures and I can't remember the person's name. She said she saw it from... Um, I know there's videos out there though. So this is not my system. I'm just trying it for the first time for myself. So I've already torn all my tabs and my, my um, book binding um, tape. Um, I, I did approximately an inch um, wide by two inches long. Um, so I'm just going to get started. So I'm starting with three hinges and I'm going to try to maybe use this mat to be a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think you have to be exacting because I think once you get your first couple pieces down you're you're on your way. So I'm just sort of eyeballing here and I'm trying to figure out what do I want to use. I, I do want to add a little bit of tape. I don't know how, or glue. I don't know how good this glue is going to work. But I'm going to put, ugh, there we go. Put some glue on there. I'm going to figure out approximately halfway. And I guess I'll start my first tab about there. Maybe a little bit further in. I think once you get going, you're getting a rhythm. I was sort of disappointed because um, I just ordered this um, book binding tape. And I ordered brown and received black. But um, 
I decided to go ahead and use it. I've been wanting to get some of this anyway. I'm going to go approximately halfway, and I'm off wet judging that, but I'm just going to go for it. Maybe pull that back a little bit. Ooh, that really sticks. Oh, and I did decide just to go ahead and use the cover that you watched me make. I decided um, this journal is for me. You know, it's just sort of like a small family record. Very small portion of family record, but um, I can live with this. And I figured out, I had added another color of... Um, alcohol inks in the mix yesterday that I did not use um, on my first cover because my husband even said this one's darker than the other one and I said yes it is and then I started thinking and I was like you know why because I added that other color so we have three here so we know we're gonna need um, two on this one and I can't lay this on there yet because that is sticky. <laughs> As we get going, we'll be able to lay one on top of the other. But now I'm going to start using my fabric tabs. And on this one, we'll do two tabs. I can't even, maybe if I turn it this way and then flip it around. Will that work? Yeah, on the front. So I'm just going to Put some glue here and here for my two. I'm going to flip this around the way it should be. I didn't have any. Um, scrapbook papers in here, anything like that, and then once I figured out about the um, little pages, I thought I better add some more paper in here so I can attach. At one point I thought I came up with a solution, and I may still try it. I just want to see how this goes along. So basically the process, if you, if you haven't seen this on any, you know, before, it's three tabs on the first page, two on the second, three on the third, you, you know, you just rotate back and forth. Flip that up. See, this tape is going to hold really good. All right, my next page, I think it's going to go like that, yeah, it's going to go like, I think like this. I feel, I just want to stick this so I can see where these tabs are, and that will be your reminder as to where, you know, you need three tabs here. And a, a, another side note, I'm not real concerned about if all of my tabs line up either um, because I, I do want my pages to be at different heights going through. I think in the beginning I made a couple... And I can always go back if I don't feel those are secure enough. I'll go back and um, readjust those. So these two go to the back of this one. Oh, put that glue. Yeah, I'll put it in the right spot. I'm just grabbing the wrong tab. 
like this one for example. I want it to be up higher. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Because those are falling accurately. I really don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm just doing three tabs, two tabs. And then here, get this one up, or throw it right down. I'll put it up since that's where I put my tabs. I will be adding though as I put photos and different things in here be adding different washi tapes and different kinds of tape as I go along but I just want to give you a quick and then I'll proceed on this off a of camera but this is basically like I said I'll go back through here Make sure I have my tabs glued securely. And as I'm working on each page, I have the opportunity to once again do that. This one was three. That makes this one two. Okay, so I'm going to continue on, and um, I'll be back when I have all the pages in, um, and we'll go from there. Thank you. Bye. Oh Hello, everyone. I'm back again. Um, I finished putting all the pages in, and um, quite honestly, the one thing that I'm I put in uh, 20, I think it was 22 pages because I wanted, there's certain things I want to be able to include in this. Um, I would not recommend doing this system for a large book. And this is why. You see, this is how the binding looks. Um, that page hasn't been, it drives me nuts looking at that, but um, that's what I'm thinking about putting there. I don't know yet um, to cover the inside. But um, when the book is lay, lying down, I mean, the pages turn nicely. You know, they're sort of flat. I think because, well, this one ripped already because of the paper. But um, I think what the situation is, I tried to put too much in it. Um... But I'm going to work with it. I'm going to use different methods to correct things. Um, I like the method, but like I said, I would definitely do it for something smaller. You know, maybe six pages or so, maybe less. I don't know. And I have an actual cover on it, you know, too. Um, the one adjustment that I may make to mine, because I am going to use this and complete it, um, I was playing around. I may try to put maybe some, um, I was thinking of putting like maybe a piece of, um, I don't know if it will work, if it will help the situation. 
it may help to have something around the spine. I just don't like this. And especially once I start filling, you know, putting things in and, and doing what bit of decorating I want to do. Um, but I'm thinking about putting this and maybe a piece of um, one of these laces. Um, I think this sort of looks pretty if I can find the piece I was playing around with earlier. Um, I would like to do something... You know, maybe sort of haphazardly around the spine on this. I'm not sure. Um, I'll let you know what I decide, but I wanted to follow up with you. Let you know that I did complete all the pages um, just to find, you know, this, which I don't like. And I don't know if you put even tape to the front and back, if that would help the situation. I don't know. But nonetheless, it's something new. I wanted to try it, and I'm glad that I did. And I'm definitely going to uh, make it work for me. But I just wanted to point those things out to you. As I um, continue to... Um, it, there's not a whole lot going in this. Um, it's just some family photos. I do want to decorate some pages. Um, that type of thing. So I'll give you a flip through once I get that done and updated. And um, once again, I'd just like to say thanks very much for your support. And um, please like, subscribe, and comment. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll be back very soon. Take care and have a great day.